Tonight here at six days after the USDA revoked wildlife and need owner Tim Starks license, the federal agency is responding to some of our questions, confirming the accused animal abuser will keep his animals. Our focus team has been working relentlessly since our reports first aired to find out what happens next. Investigator Shay McAllister, McAllister is here right now with what we know tonight. Shay. Doug, over the weekend, I received hundreds of comments, messages and calls about this story. And there's one question that just keeps coming up. That's what is next for these animals? In response to our investigation, Melanie wrote on Facebook. Finally, can the place get shut down and those animals rescued? And also Casey asked, where are the animals now? We also heard from Betty, who said, how has the state not gone in forcibly and taken away these animals from this guy? We had some of the same questions, especially after this exchange with wildlife and need owner Tim Stark. They said that you told them you would shoot the animals in the head before you would let anyone take the animals. Yeah. Is that true? Nobody's going to take my animals. It's not going to be my animals that's going to pay the price. I'm not going to let anybody take my animals. And we shared that statement with the USDA and asked what they plan to do to protect these animals. After several days without a response, we asked again and they sent us this, which reads in part, in regards to the animals, the decision and order issued does not impact the ownership of Mr. Stark's animals. It goes on to say also, while the case is under appeal, he can continue to conduct covered activities. So what does this actually mean? Well, it sounds like Stark's animals will stay at his property under his care and his shows will go on. When we asked the USDA about oversight at the property, the government agency refused to answer that question. We know they haven't been there in almost three years. As for other agencies, the Clark County prosecutor Jeremy Mull tells us he has received a lot of calls about our investigation and he's looking at all of his options now about how to move forward. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.